Alrighty, tax plane followers. Today we're going to have a look at the payback time challenge. And the description tells us to place an order that makes you filthy rich. And this falls under the improper input validation category. So let's check this out. In order to place an order, we need a user first. So we're going ahead and create a customer. And let's go up here, email, and say um, rich at hacksplain.com. ASDF, 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 ASDF. Security question. Your eldest sibling's middle name is called Banana. And I am going ahead and register that user. And I will use the user straight away right now and log in with that guy. I'll say rich at hacksplain.com and we'll log in. So the description said we need to place an order that makes us rich. So in order to do that, we got to put in a banana juice first. You guys know banana juice is my favorite juice. I want to add that to my basket. And I can see right here that the banana juice was placed into the basket. A thousand milliliters of that actually. So let's go to my basket and I'm seeing that straight in here. So what if I say quantity minus? Doesn't seem like there's anything going on. What if I say quantity plus? So now there's two of them in it. I'll click it again. There's three banana juices in it, and you can see that the price is rising. That obviously makes a lot of sense. If we buy more, we have to pay more. But this is not necessarily making us rich. So what is the idea behind this challenge? The idea is to set a negative quantity in order to tell the application that I'm actually getting money back. And that would be awesome, right? Wouldn't that be cool in real life? So let's try something else. Let's go back to Ovis Pachusha. And I'm actually going to intercept what I am requesting with my Burp Suite Community Edition right over here. And now I want to have something else. I had enough of banana juice. I need a melon bike in its comeback edition. So I'll turn this on and we'll add this to my basket and I see what's happening on um, the network side of things. So I'm sending a get request to Hexplain minus two shop. And this is just getting the basket items. At least it seems like that as it is a get request to basket number five. Let's forward that. We don't need that either. Look at that one. That is an interesting one. We see a post request going out to API basket items. And I am adding product ID number 33 to basket ID number five. And I say quantity is one. So let's quickly go back. It seems like our melon bike over here is product ID 33. It also seems like my basket ID is five. And I have added one piece of it by clicking on the add to basket button one time. So as I was saying before, wouldn't it be nice to get some money back? And I could try to say right now, I actually do not want to order one. I want to order minus 1000. So I will change that value and click on intercept is off. All right. So let's see if there is anything happening. I'm scrolling up to the top of the page and I see that my melon bike was added to the basket. So I go to the basket over here and hey, this looks good. We see that by using an intercepting proxy, we were able to set the quantity to minus thousand, which was not possible before by using the UI. So right now it seems like the total price of this is how many shares of that is that? That seems like minus $2,999,000. So if I would get back that amount, that would actually make me a millionaire. 
The only negative thing is I will lose a couple of bonus points, but who cares? Being a millionaire is probably worth more. So I'm going to check out right now, and it seems like we need to add an address. So I'll just say, well, my country is, doesn't matter, US, I am rich, and my mobile phone number is this, my zip code is that, my address is Richway, and I'm living in Richmond in Richville. All right, let me submit that. I actually can't do that because I need to make my mobile phone number a little longer. Uh, all right, here we go. And I'm going to submit this. Perfect, so now we're having an address. I'm rich out of Richway, Richmond, Richville, whatever. I will toggle this button over here and I will say continue. So now it's asking me over again if my delivery address is the right one and what delivery speed I want to choose. So let's say I don't really care how fast I am becoming a millionaire. That's why I use standard delivery. Also, that is cheaper, so that saves me a little bit of money. All right, so let's continue. And we do see that I have no credit or debit cards added. I probably don't have any coupon codes. Um, there's other payment options I do not want to use right now. But we already see over here that I can use my wallet. And my wallet balance is, well, nothing. But if I click on pay, it should cost me minus almost $3 million. So let's just check if we can do that. I'm hitting pay and I'll click continue and it tells me one more time that the total price is minus three million and now I'm going to place my order and pay and here we go payback time right up here so it turned out this actually worked by circumventing the input validation of the UI using an intercepting proxy, setting the quantity of my bike to minus 1000, making me a $3 million millionaire. Awesome. All right, folks, that was it for today. I hope you will also become millionaires by buying a couple of melon bikes right now. Thank you as always for watching, subscribe in the top right corner, and I'll see you soon.